This particular movie, we're going to take a differential equation. It's a first-order differential equation. And we're going to try to solve it completely for you with a little voice narration here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to separate it first. Uh, it looks like it's probably separable. Uh, a little factoring and things like that, and we'll I think we'll maybe be able to do it. If I cannot separate it, uh, I'll just go ahead and then try something different. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides of the equation by the dx to get it away from the dy. Okay, And when I do it, you can get this little mess back again. So we get dy equals this quantity that's on the left side times dx. And that's kind of the beginning of the separation of the differential equation. Now if you notice the uh, factor uh, in the parentheses on the left uh, it doesn't look separated at all. So what I'm going to do is factor the y out. That will give me a start on separating this differential equation. And now, if you'll notice, everything looks like it's multiplied, so we have factors everywhere. So if at this particular point, I now realize that the thing is separable. Okay, Okay. we'll divide both sides by y. That will get the y away from the dx's. And we get dy over y equals everything on the right with the y's divided out. And if you'll notice, now the right side of the equation is basically all in x, and the left side is all in y. This makes us quite happy. Okay. Scroll down a little bit, and uh, I think we're getting fairly close to doing some kind of integration here. Okay. Since we have it separated, we now have the right to integrate both sides of the a differential equation, thus undoing the thing and getting the solution of the DE. This will be a general solution. It will be a family of curves is what we're going to get. So you'll see my integral signs fly up there in a second and we'll start to do some integration. Needless to say these integrals are all quite trivial. Uh, you would learn them in a beginning course in calculus. Uh, we have a du over u on that left side, and we all should know, of course, that that is the log. Uh, the next one is a simple power integral. We'll simply add 1 to the 2 and divide by it, and we get 1 third x cubed. And similarly, with the next one, uh, we get a 1 half x squared, and throw our buddy the constant in. Okay, And that is the general solution of that differential equation. Uh, we don't like the form of it too much, so we're going to try to get that y variable, the uh, dependent variable, out of the argument of that logarithm. And if we exponentiate it, uh, take do the natural log exponential, uh, excuse me, the natural log e to the base e, we undo that logarithm of the log of y. And we do it to the right side also, and that creates quite a mess, as you can see. Okay, e raised to the log of y is y, and we now have extracted the argument. Uh, a little cosmetic work here. Um, we'll leave the e's okay, but uh, if you use some basic algebra here, you will realize, of course, that we end up getting e raised to that very strange power times e raised to the c. Okay. And that is nothing but a constant, and we'll go ahead and rename it and call it k. Once we do that, we can rewrite uh, the, the solution, and we have the answer to the differential equation according to our intellectual skills. We'll then move over to Eduscape's helper that solves differential equations, first order differential equations, and a small group of them. It's not a, a, not a foolproof thing. And we'll see if we can get something fairly close using that helper. Okay. So in the next move you will see I will jump over to the helper screen. And at the top there you can see we take the input box there and stick the differential in. It looks a little different than it does written out. It's y prime 
of x equals y of x, which is the dependent variable, times the independent variable squared, minus the dependent variable times, excuse me, the independent variable times the dependent variable. Anyway, whatever I said, I think that is the correct form for the solver to be happy. We go ahead and click on Compute, and then you look down there where Output is, and you see something fairly strange. It says C10e to the negative 1 half x squared over 2 times e to the x cubed over 3. And then lo and behold, that is actually the same thing as we got. Uh, the, the helper here throws in another constant, uh, the C10, which we used k for. And there it is. We have solved the little differential equation fundamentally and checked it with uh, the Edge Escape helper. Thank you for using our software.